Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. I want to do this quick because, first of all, we have mowers outside, and hopefully the sound won't be too loud for you. Also, somebody has asked me privately about this. In general, you're free to ask me questions. As remember, I remember inside. I can't even talk today. As a reminder, I've uh, my email is mike at kellytown.com, so feel free to ask me questions. It, but in general, I will respond to you via making a tutorial if it's uh, something I think other people will benefit by. Anyway, so there's a Chantilly lace dress that somebody wants to use. Uh, this is from Daz, Chantilly lace. Actually, it's a, I guess it's more, it's a skirt and an outfit, but this is the, the skirt problem that she's having a problem with. This is as it comes into Daz, and we've actually talked about weight maps before uh, in various ways. We've never uh, spent a lot of time talking about this particular kind of weight map, so I'm going to show you uh, this because I think it might be useful to some people. So what happens is if you bring uh, this in, the UV, and I've showed you this before, the UV coordinates, so if you, for example, you're here on the, on the dress, uh, you want to create a weight map for the skirt, I keep saying dress, but it's a skirt. What you do is you go down here to the UV coordinates, UV reference, click on that and it'll open up the UV reference in your editor. So in this particular case, I use Photoshop, it'll open this up in, in the editor. So uh, the UV reference, as you'll notice for a skirt, is not a simple length, it's this circular motion, okay? So the skirt is actually, I think, probably a slit skirt and it's probably joined there. And so you can't just draw a simple gradient here. You'd actually have to draw a circular gradient. And you gotta be a little careful in how you do that because you wanna anchor this, this first part of it. If you don't anchor this uh, around the waist, it'll just fall off the character. So I, I'm not great at drawing this stuff. I've shown you how to do this before in 3D Coat. Uh, that would probably be my, my program of choice to draw it in 3D Coat what we would simply do is take this and paint it right on the character. So we would just fill it in there. And it would be a little easier to do that, but you can do it in an editor like Photoshop. And so in Photoshop, what I did first was I created another layer, this, this I'm sorry, this layer on top here. And I just used a black brush and I drew around the, the edge, this front edge. So if you can see, I have that front edge to kind of anchor that down. This is all black and then I feathered it out. And then another, I created another layer with the white and I used this, uh, the radial fill. I don't know if you guys have ever used a radial fill in Photoshop, but basically you drag it out and it creates this radial fill. And that way, so I have the blank to anchor it, black to anchor it, and then this white to create the radial fill. And then, and then I just used the whole thing and exported this and that's the map I'm using. So in, in uh, iClone, this is the map as it comes in. And you notice I haven't even modified this in any way. So this isn't necessarily the be-all, end-all map, but this is a very quick, I did this in like less than a minute because my computer's having issues. So now if we play, press play, you can see it falls down, but then it, then it works properly. So it's, and of course, we've always talked about this in the past. You have to have collision shapes properly on this, but essentially this, this works. Now, you might say, well, Mike, what about the falling down? Well, it's going to fall down because that's, that's how big a, a, a skirt it is and it's going to hit. So you would have to, if you were going to have this gal wear this, you'd either want to tailor this so it was shorter, or you'd have to have a floor here and the floor physics would interact with this with this uh, skirt as well. Honestly, I would never use this skirt because again, the floor physics and the feed and, the, and the, it, it just would make it complicated to use this correctly. Um, I, I would prefer something a lot shorter, something either ankle length or either above that. But at least you can see how to draw this circular map and, and to see how the physics then work properly on that once you draw that. And again, we've talked about collision shapes. Our knees are coming through a little bit. We don't want to load collision shapes in. Uh, I've, I've shown you that in the past. So you can look back at my tutorials about collision shapes and such. So anyway, that's how to create a map for a dress that's patterned in a UV circular pattern. Uh, again, it's probably easier to do this in a 3D painting program like 3D Coat where we just draw it right on it, but it can be done in 2D. So hopefully that helps and we'll see you on the forums.